children, our saint uh, of today is Saint Peter Chrysologos. He was a famous bishop who lived in the fifth century, and he is a great doctor, known especially from his sermons. Saint Peter was born in Italy, and he was educated by the bishop of his own city. And even as a very young boy, Peter understood that a man is truly great only if he can set his own will aside and put on the spirit of Christ, doing God's works and not his own. When he grew up, St. Peter was made the Archbishop of Ravenna, that was the capital of the Western Roman Empire then, and he worked very hard to destroy the remnants of paganism in his diocese. But it was as a preacher that St. Peter became famous. Indeed, his very name, Chrysologus, means golden word. And do you know, children, what was very remarkable in his sermons? His sermons, they were all short, because St. Peter was afraid to tire his listeners. He knew that important lesson that a sermon is not the better, the longer it is. The point of a sermon is to make the faithful learn and love their Catholic faith. And in this, St. Peter Chrysologus was so excellent and loved. Also, the sermons of St. Peter, they were not especially unusual or beautiful in style. Again, he wanted to educate people in the faith, not just listen his own voice. St. Peter's message in sermons was always more valuable than gold, and he preached with such enthusiasm and fire that people listened what he was saying. Most of all, St. Peter uh, believed what he preached and always showed good example to his people. In his sermons, St. Peter urged everyone to receive Jesus often in Holy Communion so that the body of the Lord might be the daily food for their souls. And it was because of his wonderful sermons, which were so rich in teaching the people, that St. Peter was made a doctor of the Church. So therefore, children, priest who is giving a sermon, he is also your teacher, just like you listen your teacher in the classroom, you must listen the priest when he teaches you from the pulpit in the sermon. So whether the sermon is long or whether it is short, you should always listen carefully and learn from uh, that so that you can love Jesus and always do his will. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.